Come on, then. You got yourself into quite a pickle, haven't you, little lady? So, I'm assuming a hospital, right? No, no hospitals. Can you take me to Sandy Shores? I got people there who can help me out. Chola Springs Avenue. Sandy Shores. <laughs> it's your lucky day. We're virtually neighbors. I assume you've heard of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. What? Uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm. No point introducing you to my friends in the mountains, the state you're in. What? Which friends? Well, it's just an aging organization in desperate need of some young blood. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Look, thanks for this. Another 20 seconds, I'd have had the cops all over me. What the hell happened back there? Don't worry about it, okay? It's not worth it. I'm helping a bleeding girl who won't go to hospital or the cops flee the scene of a dead body. I reckon I deserve some deets here, girlfriend. Just a job that went wrong. Trust me, don't want to know. Oh, come on. I love hearing about criminal bloopers. Makes me feel so much better about myself. So you're in the game? You know, it really pains me when people refer to my lifestyle choices as a game. Really undermines all my hard work. <sighs> Look, we hit a pawn shop, okay? But it was a sting. The cops were waiting for us. It's supposed to be an easy job, low risk, 20k each. I was the driver. And not a very good one. Hey, I got us through three roadblocks. We had half a San Andreas law enforcement on our ass. We'd have been home free if that son of a bitch hadn't pulled a blade on me at 100 miles per hour. Spun us off the road. You cross me, I put you down. <sighs> no second chances. Mm. Sounds like you need to find a better crew. Considering I got two in custody and the other one dead on the side of Sonora Freeway, I need any crew, period. Why? You know someone? Maybe you should do something about that pile of blood and guts pouring out of you before you go updating your resume. They got nothing to connect me. No real names, no addresses. Left all the money. Way too hot to wash. I'll get myself patched up, lie low at the safe house for a day or two, then see what I can put together. That bastard stuck me good. What if you're dead already, and this is your first taste of hell? Dwell on that. worse than I thought. I just wish I could say you're the first person I've watched die today. Ah, no. I want Tomas. Oh. My Spanish is pretty basic, but I'm assuming that means you're dead? Yep. Uh, well, you win some, you lose some. It's going to a good home. Start, your turd! Here. Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. 
They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap-wearing assholes. Uh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find him. Go Saint, go kick a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you. Now smile. Yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, Ron. Shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of infinite rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek. 